Good morning, everyone. We're at Houston Quilt Festival. Um, one more day after this. 1549 is our booth number. And I'd uh, love to see you stop by. But we are doing some videos here, and I wanted to show you how to use some of our stone tools. And I did one a little bit ago with the circle. So we've got this new um, crop circle. And we, of course, make it in the larger size for the half inch ruler foot or the quarter inch size for a quarter inch ruler foot. Um, this is a pretty cool little tool, but I can use it in conjunction with some of the stone tools and get a really neat modern look. So what I'm gonna do here, of course, is same old, same old, put my uh, foot down in that little groove there. And this is one you definitely wanna make sure that you're supporting the template because this will pop up. So we're gonna just stitch right in that little groove. Now I'm doing the small foot, of course, and all the way around. And I'm into the center here. I'm just gonna do a little back stitch. Now I'm gonna start from the center this time pull my foot up. I'm going to go ahead and trim my threads here. So you can see how that spiral looks and you can connect these and, and do whatever, but this is a really awesome tool. But now that I've got that stitched, I can go ahead with um, one of my pebblers. Now this um, first one I'm going to show you is part of the beginner set or part of the stone set. And it is, has three different size templates, or three different size circles. It splits like this so that you can get your thread through so you can switch from one size to the next size. But what we're gonna do is the foot's going to start, sit right down. I'm gonna start right there at the end. I wanna make sure that my um, template is lined up so I can get that circle right in the middle there. And all we're gonna do is stitch all the way around. Now maybe I don't necessarily want these circles touching each other. So I'm gonna stop here, needle down. And what I'm gonna be able to do is without even removing the template from there, I'm gonna be able to stitch right on that line. And then I can add another circle. So it's gonna give me a great modern look. Stop. I'm gonna go ahead and slide again. And I'm gonna stitch right on that line. I don't necessarily want these to touch. So I'm gonna go ahead and stitch again. And I'm gonna show you what this looks like but I'm gonna continue doing these all the way around here. So I've got my circle number one here. So my lines in the middle. Circle number two, my, my right original stitch line here, stitched over to do number three. I'm just gonna continue on out. I'm gonna do another one here, another one here, and they're just kinda of gonna space out and come out from the center. It's gonna make a really neat look, very modern. Um, and you could use any of our stone tools. So even if you wanted to use, you know, the squares or the ovals, any of them would look great. And of course we do have the bigger ones for that bigger foot. So you're gonna be able to use some of the larger shapes. Um, our website is www.cscountrystitching.com. And I'll talk to you later.